Hi, I'm Candice. And I'm Christine. We're Liquid IV's Impact Ambassadors. Come join us as we road trip across the U.S. to highlight our partners working to resolve the nation's water issues. See you on the road. Today we're in Washington, D.C., and I'm here with River the Puppy, and River's humans are working on something so important for water security and law in America. I think y'all can recognize exactly where we're at right now. And you got to meet River's humans. Hi, I'm Alexandra campbell Ferrari, And I'm Luke Wilson. And we're the co-founders of the Center for Water Security and Cooperation. So what do we do? We're water lawyers. We make sure that everyone has water today and into the future. Water lawyers and water law. These were new things for me. They're so essential too, to protect our rights to water. And that's not something I'm thinking about on an everyday basis when I'm drinking water. No, me neither. So that's actually why I asked Luke to explain more. Sure. I mean, a lot of what we're doing is trying to improve the law everywhere around the world uh, to make sure that people don't lose access to water. That's the key for us to make sure they don't lose access. And so that means really looking at the law from top to bottom. You know, looking at it from, you know, how are we allocating it? How are we uh, protecting the environment? How are we making sure that it, it is getting to the households? What is, it, what is the quality when it gets to the households? And trying to make sure that the law addresses all of those pieces to make sure that it's safe and available from the beginning to the end. Because if one part of that chain is broken, nothing works and people lose their water. I keep thinking about times when I don't have access to clean water. And it's not something we really think about until something has gone wrong. And then we're thinking about our rights to water. And there are so many challenges around equitable water access. So many people don't have clean water. And Alexandra shared with us one of those stories. But there are people listening and there are people fighting. We the people of Detroit is a great example. We've been supporting their work to get a state level bill and a Detroit level bill that would actually create water affordability for the past several years because they need and want that support. And, and we can provide that, right? They have that passion, they have that community experience, that lived experience of facing not having access to safe drinking water. And we just help them to find the words to create those systemic long-term protections that they and everybody in their community needs. This is how water lawyers and the local community grassroots are coming together to create change and equitable water access. That's the power of the law. And I think Luke said it best. I see the potential to have a huge impact by changing one law. That you can have an impact on everybody's lives you, because you're able to change one legal rule, because you're able to create one protection, you can actually have a change, not just at a systemic level, but at a global level. And there's just, there's just that promise is really something. We have a chance to make water equitable. So how do we get involved? We're doing a lot to try to bring all these pieces together, but we need people who are willing to ask the tough questions are willing to push and advocate. I mean, we're, we can provide the expertise, but we need people to say, this is what I want, to, to, to think about the questions that we're raising and to say, we want to change our part of the world. We want to change our country. We want to change the system. And so we need every person to ask these questions and to ask for answers. Candace, you know what's happening this week? We're going to see those voices in action. So join us and follow along because we're about to go meet up with some of our partners doing something really, really important.